and welcome back to Song Reaction Analysis with your girl JVP. How are you guys doing today? Thank you so much for coming by to my channel and if you haven't yet make sure that you subscribe and you hit the like button and you comment below and also the notification bell so you never miss a post that I am posting. I'm doing five reactions a week at the moment. In case you don't know who I am yet, my name is Jacqueline Van Bierk. I'm a singer, songwriter, I'm a music producer and composer. I'm a vocal performance coach and I love giving you reaction videos because this community is freaking awesome and I love exploring the music. Go back to listen to some older bands that I haven't listened to in a long time. You know what's really funny is when you're a musician, yourself you oftentimes um especially when you're creating your own stuff you you kind of stop listening to other people's music and you just kind of get into your own world so i i spend quite some time not listening to bands and and to music and or just like listen to stuff on the radio and honestly ugh, it gets so fatigue like <laughs> <laughs> listening to the same things over and over again on the radio is boring so love coming here hearing you guys suggesting recommending really talented musicians artists that i either haven't heard or haven't heard in a long time so i do my best to always do first time reactions with that said i really love baby metal and i think it's time for another baby metal song that came highly recommended from you guys which was catch me if you can it's from the Black Knight Legend Doomsday. So with no further ado, I love these girls and I love the band. So let's check it out and see what this is all about. I'm getting another baby metal song under my belt. By the way, it is very windy outside. So you might hear a little bit of something in my, in my mic. It can happen. Hopefully you won't, but it can't. Baby metal, catch me if you can. And as you already know, I have to stop a few times to make sure that we don't get uh, blocked. So here we go. Ooh, I like it. Yes. stop holy moly i mean they don't even like waste any time right they, they go straight in oh first of all i'm a sucker for glitter and glam and having these glitter guitars oh yes but the playing holy moly um the last song i reviewed was the same thing they did like solos before so i really really like that um let's let's go back to the uh, uh, bass solo i love this i really love this let's go back to this one Let's see where we're gonna start. Sorry, I had to stop. <laughs> Oh, 
も<笑>
oh my god this is insane the other thing i really love i mean their theatrics is just amazing their performance they're such great performance i love the theatrics and their performance i also love the the contrast they are in black and white black silver and red and very colorful right and then the band it's just like the they're like ghosts you know so to me that contrast alone is so freaking cool besides the light kids voice and girly voice and then the heavy like oh in your face like punching you in the face music it's like so, so such a great contrast that should not work but it's working i absolutely love that they're so entertaining oh my god and the band is so freaking good and tight and ah oh, <laughs> and it's so hokey it's so i do ah oh, this is just brilliant all right here we go They are so good. Okay, you know what's funny? Sometimes people will write like, well, you were busy rocking out and you missed like something. So I may have missed a little tiny something, but honestly, guys, I can't help it. It's so good. I mean, I'm one of those people, maybe you're the same. I cannot, if the, if the music is really good, I cannot not move. It's really hard for me not to move, not to just like go crazy because that's the beautiful thing about music, <laughs> you know, when, when it, when it's really good. Um, like this one, in this case, it, uh, I can't help it, you know? So yeah, if I missed something, sorry, I didn't mean to, but I can't help it. I love, I think the, the song is so freaking interesting because it's so dark and deep and like heavy and like, you know, baby metal, obviously, right? And then the, the girls come in and she, she, her voice, and it's just so adorable and the dances and it's like this little twisted thing going on. And then somewhere like towards the end, the music sounds almost like punk, which I love. It's like more like rock and roll punk. And then it goes back into the dark stuff, like really like deep. And I, I just love, love, love how the song evolves and moves along and i i just love their that theatrics their show it's pretty impressive that you know just like the three of them on this big stage and they're all tiny and they're doing such an amazing job and the crowd obviously loves it they are so good at cheering the crowd on and the music obviously is well written and although it's like really complex a little bit and and like very um, I just love that they all get a chance to really go crazy on their solos and, and really play without overplaying, right? Like it's, it's easy for, especially guitar players, sorry, no offense, but it's easy for a guitar player to just overplay, like to really overstep, you know, uh, where it's like there's no room to sing or whatever. Um, and I feel like they're, they're 
playing a lot and they're playing really complex things but at the same time and there's a lot of soloing going on but at the same time there's room for her for the vocals um i just love the way it's it's been written and oh god they are such entertainers that's definitely a band i think that you need to see live i have not seen them but i can see how it would be so much fun to watch them live because they're so entertaining and there's so much little details that you would really get a chance to get to see more of that when you watch the entire concert versus just like one song at a time. Um, I can't wait to dive more and deeper into that because I just love them and I can't wait to hear more of their stuff. Um, so with that said, thank you guys so much for suggesting and recommending this song. I love you guys so much. I love this band and I love exploring, you know, so keep bringing them and I've mentioned it before but I'm going to say it again it's just me doing this so I do my best to make notes and I try to be super organized but I am not always good at it so if I have not reacted to a song that you've brought to me just keep reminding me I'm also working on my patreon to bring you guys some extra um you know um reactions like more customized reactions and um also yeah, I'm doing my best. Like I'll just one at a time, right? Five days a week. Seems like a lot, but it's not a lot. So um, I'll do my best. With that said, I hope you have an amazing holiday um, coming up. Um, I don't know when this is going to actually be out, but like around Thanksgiving maybe. So the holiday season in general is starting and everybody's starting to become nicer again, hopefully. <laughs> and um, I, would, I just want to say that... Um, I was going to leave you with something positive and uplifting. When I watched this band, I mean, actually the song got me all hyper because like, ah. <laughs> um, catch me if you can. I love that phrase. And I want to say something about that. I actually wrote this one, Catch Me If You Can. It's more like an electronic song um, under the name uh, Ray by Eva. But what I was going to say is, you know, I feel like we're always on the go. We're always running. We're always like, catch me, catch me, catch me if you can, because like, you can't, right? Because I'm, I'm like already over there. Um, and that's how I live a lot of my life, or I have lived a lot of my life like that. And there's a phrase uh, that says, you know, in order for us to speed up, we first have to slow down. So I think that maybe this holiday season coming up is giving us a chance to maybe slow down and reflect on what's been going on this entire year and what we've learned, how much we've grown, what we've outgrown, and to maybe slow down and maybe just instead of try to catch me, just like, just try to catch up on what hasn't been finished versus always chasing that what hasn't even started. That's kind of like more or less a message to myself. <laughs> um, but I wanted to share that with you guys because it's so easy to also chase things. You know, um, in crypto, for example, I think I told you guys I'm into crypto and I there's this whole formal people chasing trends and, you know, just trying to jump in. And we have to learn to just like breathe and step back and look at the big picture and like slow down first and then take action. And it goes with anything, right? Like you have an argument with someone, like just like take a breath first before before you reply, before you like blow up on someone, um, just because you're angry or you you know it's, you're not really being rational at the at that very moment. So slowing down might be a good um, slogan for the rest of the week or the rest of your day or or the beginning of your day, um, and maybe something you want to think about for the uh, future and and more so when you're in the moment maybe that's something you want to remind yourself of anyway i love you guys so much thank you if you are still here thank you for watching it with me and please in the comments below let me know what you thought of that song what other songs you highly recommend and if you like this, please hit the like button. It helps the algorithm. It helps me grow this channel and continue with this channel. And also check out the links in the description below to support me if you like. And I will see you in the next one because I have nothing left to say. So I'm just going to zip it and let you go on with your day. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.